Hi everyone, in this video we want to show you what it takes to uh, grow rice the broiler chickens here in Ireland. Uh, we rice them for meat and uh, last year it was a success so this year we want to share it with you and hopefully it's success too. So here they are. 20 of broiler chickens, right is Ross. They are one week old. We got them from uh, Jer O'Leary from Cork. And uh, so they seem very happy. They need some heat because it's plus five outside, 2nd of April here in Ireland. And uh, that's a feeder with starter pellets. We made it from the cardboard boxes, so it's all free. Here is the water feeder. They need plenty of water. They eat a lot, they drink a lot. Also made from the plastic bottle. You want? Yes. The bedding is a chopped straw from just local farmer. They produce those. By the way, here it is, how it looks. So that's week one. Let's see what happened next. Okay, we are at two weeks mark for those broiler chicks uh, still 20 of them you can see the difference they actually put quite a lot on weight some of them at least uh, the biggest I weighted it was 250 grams um, some are still at the same mark as one week ago uh, 100 grams but uh, well they definitely growing they eat in the same uh, starter pellets. Uh, we decided to change the feeder just using the pipe cut in a way that they can access the feed. So actually they're sharing the same feeder with ducks. We have some of them. And uh, yeah, we changed the bedding just today for the first time I should actually do it more often because they produce more manure now and uh, yeah they still need some light heater because it's cold outside hopefully next week maybe we'll bring them outside but this is where we are hi April 15 the chicks are three weeks old and uh, unfortunately it's too cold outside for them to go out and enjoy the sun and the fresh grass so they're still under the lamp um, in few days they promise the sunshine so we hope to bring them out in the chicken tractor but um, yeah there is a change in appearance uh, the most heavy one I waited and it was half a kilo now some are not growing that quick so they're still at the mark of uh, 200 grams or something and yeah they're still in a chicken starter they finished the first bag uh, remember they're sharing it with uh, uh, ducks we have but uh, yeah next feed would be the uh, grower pellets for the broilers so yeah they seem happy uh, the feathers uh, start growing now, so because they grow that quick, they look a little bit featherless. And there is a red skin underneath, which is normal. And today is beautiful weather, 
it's plus 17 outside our chicks are out in the chicken tractor we switched them to the different feed so no more started pellets this is a mixture of everything happy little broilers It's a lovely day today, the chickens are outside and they are four weeks old now. Uh, the biggest one I weighed it was uh, 760 grams, the smallest 300 grams, but they're definitely growing and uh, yeah the weather lets them to be outside whole day. Uh, during the night uh, we still bring them in because the temperature dropping down they need plenty of water too and uh, yeah the tractor has to be moved every day to the new patch because they produce a lot of manure fertilizing our grass and uh, yeah that's the tractor so uh, has some protection from the sun using the old tarp and that's the place where we fix the wheel so one person can move it For the cold night, like we just had now, it was plus 6 degrees. Uh, this is a compromise I did for the chickens. So they can retain the heat. Ooh, the storm last night destroyed the tarp on the tractor. So the mini shelter inside the half of them save them not to be cold and wet but uh, in the morning I switched on the lamp to provide some heat so they can recover maybe I'll keep it on for the rest of the day before I get a new tarp okay five weeks mark they are still growing Average weight 1.1 kilo. So eating slightly bigger quantity of meal and uh, drinking more water. Still not too friendly outside, so the coop or tractor still kind of wrapped up more than usual. No sunshine, but they are comfortable. Okay, now broilers are six weeks old, uh, they fully covered with uh, white feather, most of them. Average weight is uh, 1.6 kilo. There is a clear definition now between hens and uh, cocks. Uh, you can see by appearance on the face. It's still cold, during the night it's plus one, two degrees. So the coop or the tractor still wrapped up it would consume a much larger amount of water, about uh, 8 to 10 liters a day. So it's important to keep an eye, have some extra supplies. Okay. Seven week old broilers, um, still growing nicely, eating lots of food, 
drinking lots of water as well um, daily consume would be like seven or eight liters of water for 20 of them and uh, roughly almost five liter bucket of meal maybe less four uh, nice white feathers everywhere uh, ten chicks are females ten are cocks so just split half half it's very easy to distinct them now overall everybody is happy uh, just two of them are pretty small but uh, well that's the nature all looks good it wasn't easy to check weight of them but I did manage uh, I tried few uh, no picture for this but uh, average weight would be 1.8 kilogram per chick and of course they do eat clover and grass hi there broilers are eight weeks old it's kind of the last week for them they are big enough and uh, we did not plan to kill any by now but we actually had to two of them this morning what happened about four days ago one broiler was uh, very sad not eating not moving and uh, we were giving some food and water but uh, he eventually died and uh, when I cut him open apparently he had water belly disease uh, his liver and heart failed so there wasn't enough of oxygen in the body and uh, this unfortunately is fatal um, it's not contagious we're kind of lucky it did not happen on the week number four or five but on the very last week um, where it's coming from uh, we don't know could be because of some uh, toxic plant we are not sure last year was okay we didn't have such a problem um, could be like stale water but uh, we did change bottles actually today so um, could be something in the water um, we get enough of ventilation in this coop so like dust or too hot it's not an option actually this year was quite cold they are not as big as last year at the same time we had uh, last year was much more warmer so those broilers are lagging behind um, so again just not lucky this year um, so two went down and there is another one she's uh, quite small and uh, she has the same symptom with the water belly um, her abdomen is quite red and she's and it's kind of swollen you can feel the uh, there is a water inside so she's not eating not active and uh, well tomorrow will be her last day I don't see any problems with the rest they're eating happy crops are full so we keep an eye on them we have what we have we're dealing with it and uh, overall if not this uh, water belly thing happened to us would be another successful bunch of broilers uh, but um, yeah there is a chance always of something bad happening but uh, well this is life so yeah next we will show you how will be the last day